to. Good morning. This is Nancy from the Young Nail Center. We're going to do a series of exercises. We're going to start in our chair, but we will be standing. We'll also be using the chair as a prop to help you with your balance. These exercises are from the program Matter with Matter of Balance, which will be starting on a virtual show and being held in house when we start opening aloud again. So watch for that coming. You'll learn these exercises. But I am certified to be a Matter of Balance instructor, so I'm allowed to give you those exercises. So it is good. It, they're good exercises. They are all low impact. You won't be jumping, jogging, moving fast at all, but you will be making some very good movements and stretching, and it'll help you improve your strength for your balance, okay? So let's just get started by relaxing and remembering how to breathe. You remember to breathe in your nose, nice and slow. Exhale through your mouth, nice and slow. So take a nice deep breath in the nose. Expand that belly and then exhale. Pressing the belly down in and pushing out the exhale. Another breath. Let's start with our morning stretch. So we're just gonna stretch your arms up. A little bit of a twist. Remember to breathe while you're stretching and moving. Stretch and move. Get your body ready to make some movements. Always wanna wake up the muscles, wake up your joints. Your joints have to keep moving or they get stiff, as you know. So. Okay. Our first movement, we're going to be pressing our hands, alternating across and down toward your knee, okay? So we're going to start with your right, so you stretch and push and back. We're going to do five on each side. Four. Across and down. Three. Sometimes I do forget to count, so you may do more or less. Just have to bear with me. See, I've lost count already. <laughs> Last one. Down and up. In between each movement we're going to take, make sure we take our breath. We're going to start with our hands out in front. We're going to go down, spreading the fingers a little bit, and open. And down. And open. Three, four, and five. Take your breath in between movements. This time, instead of reaching down, we're going to reach up and across. So you're going to take your hands from your lap and push up and down. It's easy to breathe with your movements. Inhale. Exhale, reach it up. First one was a demonstration, then this is three. Two, do them slow and controlled. Last one, and last one. Take that breath. Out, let's stretch out. This is a simple one. We're just going to make some wrist circles. You're going to circle clockwise five times and then counterclockwise five times. Six and five. Okay, we're going to move down to your feet, so you will need to scoop just a little bit to the edge of your chair. Make sure your chair is a sturdy spot on something that will not slip, whether it's your carpet or your kitchen floor or a mat underneath, but make sure it won't slide out from under you. We're going to put your heel out and point and just stretch it. Now we're going to make circles with your ankles. Ankle circles five times clockwise. And then reverse five times counterclockwise. You can only do four and you feel some tightness. Just stop. And reverse to the other leg. And counterclockwise. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Remember the tip that I gave you one other time about while you're sitting watching your TV, you can write the alphabet and script with your foot. That's a great thing to keep those ankles limber. Ankles limber and strong because that's what's going to help you keep you preventing, preventing a fall, being able to write yourself automatically, mentally training yourself. Let's march in place in your chair, bringing your left knee up and down. We're going to do this one for the 30 seconds, okay? Instead so of counting. And you're halfway there. This helps get those hips moving, your hip joints flexible. Two. And one. All right. The next one we're going to do is with our legs as well. We're going to bring our foot out, up. We're going to point the toe, we're going to flex the toe back toward you, and then back down. So let's start with your left leg. Bring your knee up, out, point, flex, and down. We're going to alternate. Point, flex, and down. Point, flex, and down. Point, flex, and down. And of course, this is five for each leg. Point, flex, and down. Point, flex, and down. Two more. And last one. And next. We're going to take our arms next, and we're just going to bring our arms out to the side. You're going to help. This is your shoulder movement, so you're going to bring them down, palm down, and then palm up. We do this in yoga as well. Three, two, and last one. We're going to do our shoulder rolls, and this is very easy, but we're going to do it the first time. We're going to raise our shoulders up, we're going to roll them back, and then bring them back, drop them back down. We'll do it five times that way. Then we'll bring our shoulders up, we'll roll them forward and back down. So up, back, and down. Four and five. Now remember, this is a little harder because we're not used to rolling our shoulders forward. So bringing your shoulders up and forward and down. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Make sure your chair is nice and sturdy is right where you want it to be. You're going to come up, standing up halfway up to a crouch position or a squat. And then we're going to come back to the chair. So you want to make sure your chair is there. Hopefully it's not on wheels. We don't want it to roll away while you're, when you stand up halfway. So we're just going to squat and then come back down. And back down. And you can reach your hands back if you want, if you're a little insecure. You want to take your, make sure that chair is there before you sit back down. That's certainly okay. And definitely mindful thinking. One more. This time we're going to stand up. All the way up. Okay. We're going to move our chair a little bit so that it is on our, over to our side for support. The first thing we're going to do is stand facing the back of our chair. And we're going to take our right foot back. You're going to put the heel to the floor and bend in that front knee. And then bring it back. We're going to do five on each leg. Bring it back and then make sure that heel goes to the floor. Three. 
two, and one. You should feel that just a little bit in the Achilles tendon and rotate this. Five, four, three, two, and last one. We're going to turn around and face the front again. And we're going to march but in place, but instead of alternating, we're just going to do one leg at a time. So you're going to start with your right leg. Bring it up and down. And again, we're going to do this for the 15 seconds. One more. Now we're going to do your other leg the same thing, marching it up and down. Six. Counting for the 15 seconds. And one more. Very good. We're going to take our leg. We're going to do it with our outside leg first. So you want to bring it out to the side and bring it straight up so that the heel touches the toe. Okay, we're just going to slide it out and touch. Three, two, and one. Now let's turn it the other way. Bring it out, toe to heel. Three, two, and last one. Now this one, we are just, I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see. All we're doing is we're going to bring, slide the foot back and bring it down, keeping the ball of the foot connected to the floor. Slide it back. Feel this in your posterior. Two and one. Now let's rotate to the other leg. Okay. Two. And last one. All right. We're going to step off and step forward. So make sure you have a few spaces in front of you. We're going to do like a waltz step. So we're going to be bringing your foot up and then together over to the side and then back and back to your beginning spot. So you're going to start up one, two, three, and four. You can move your arms like you're doing a salsa or polka or waltz. Over. Down, two more, up, over, back, back to your original spot. Last one, forward, up, down, and back to the beginning. Now this one, we're just going to simply step to the side. We're going to start with your right. So you're going to step to the side and back. Step to the side and back. And last one, and now do the other leg. You're going to just step to the side, shift your weight to center over the two feet, and back. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. Last one, you might feel that in this outside because we walk forward, we walk backwards, we don't walk side to side unless you're doing line dance. So we do the great one, but that's where you'll feel this a little bit because you don't use those outer muscles as much, okay? Now this one is, we call it the hula. You've done the polka, so we're gonna do the hula. But what you're gonna do is keep your hands on your hips. You're gonna lean forward, lean to the side, lean to the back, and exactly like you're doing the hula or 
rotating with a hula hoop around your waist. One, two, I'm seeing that I'm not keeping my shoulders very still, but try to do it very much. Keeping your shoulders still. If you have a mirror, you can always cross your arms and hope that your shoulders are staying still and maybe a little flu more fluid movement keeps you still rather than the jerk and stuff. Let's go the other direction now. Very good. <laughs> All right, let's bring your chair back around to the front of you so that you can sit back down. We're gonna finish up in our chair. Let's take a couple of nice relaxing breaths. We're gonna start by bringing our arms out in front of us. You're gonna grasp that oar and you're gonna grow it back to your shoulders under your arms, reaching out and pulling back. Reaching out, pulling, reaching out, and pull, reach out, and pull with one last one. Okay. We've done our wrist circles both directions, but now what we're going to do is well, jazz hands. You're going to spread your fingers wide, and then you're going to close them to a light fist. Open up, up wide. Remember the joints in your fingers and your hands. Those are important joints to keep loose. If you're typing on your computer or writing, either one. If people do still write, making lists. The last one. Another exercise that we're going to do to help the joints in between each one of your fingers is your pointer finger to your thumb. Open up, middle finger, open up, ring finger, and pinky. And back down, ring, middle, pointer. And let's do the other hand. Point, middle finger, spread them out in between because that loosens that joint in between. And back. Let's do one more set. We can do them together. Pointer, open, middle, open, ring, open, pinky, open, and back. Ring, open, middle finger, open, pointer finger, open. Oof, oof. Feel that movement, even that little bit that you get your joints moving that you haven't needed to move lately. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our head. We're going to try to look over your shoulder. You're going to turn your head, just turning your head. You're going to get your head to the chin, your chin to your shoulder, and move your eyes a little bit to look over behind you, and then back to center, and over to the other side. Rotate. And over. Three, we'll do five on each side. We'll get five on each side. Two, you can do this and if you're, if you're tired or your neck hurts after three, just stop and rest and breathe. And last one. Another thing to keep your neck very movement, movable and flexible is to tilt your head. I'm going to be able to see on the monitor that I can visualize my ear getting close to my shoulder as my shoulders are rolled down. But I know it's nowhere near that from the view, but it is moving on each side. You just think your head is all, my gosh, my head's almost there. I can really tilt my head over. But if you do it in a mirror, you see you really can't. But it's good exercise to do it anyway, because it gets your arm, your neck flexible. One movement that you do when you're traveling in a car is fastening your seat belts. All of these neck movements are really great if you're driving. It'll help you look over your shoulder 
to that blind spot because you have to check that often. But grabbing your seat back. So we're going to reach up. We're driving. You're going to reach with your right arm. Grab the seat belt and bring it and fasten it. And you're going to take your left hand. You're the passenger. Grab and down. Grab it. Pull it down. Grab the shoulder. Seat belt. And come down. You can hit pause anytime you want to. Slow it down, work more on one that you feel that needs it than the other one. And last set, one, bring it down, up, and bring it down. We're gonna bring your chin to your chest. Let your chin chest rest on your chest. And then you're just gonna slide your chin across your chest to the right and to the left. So if you're all being very hydrated, drinking water, flavor water counts, anything to get those ounces in you. Good rule of thumb is take your weight, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water your body needs to keep totally hydrated. One of the easiest ailments for seniors is dehydration. It causes a lot of physical problems. And last one. What you want to do is bring your head to your chin, to your sides, but we don't want to look up because that damages and hurts your vertebrae and that's an arthritis issue that you don't want to deal with. So let's bring our arms out and stretch it over. And bring that stretch again. And I think we're pretty close to being finished. We may have done this a lot quicker than 20 minutes. But we'll move a little bit more. Reach your arms open wide. And embrace yourself in that bear hug. Embrace open. And then bring the bear hug the other direction. Bring the arm up and over. Remember to breathe. Extend one leg, stretch it out, bend down toward it, give it a good stretch. Your muscles are warm from this exercise. You've warmed your muscles, so it's okay to stretch them. All right, have a great day. Hopefully you feel a little bit energized and you can keep on moving. Keep moving, bye.